In this video, I'll explain the options of SE Robot and I promise to leave no stone unturned. So we've got four tabs. Capture Services, Proxy, Spinner, and General. And we'll analyze them all in order. The first tab allows us to integrate SE Robot with a CAPTCHA solving service. What this means is that once SE Robot is integrated with one of these services, we won't have to enter CAPTCHA codes manually. And I highly recommend using this option as it will save you a lot of time and it doesn't cost a lot of money. The way this works is by sending the CAPTCHA to one of these services via their API. If you don't understand what this means, let me put it in simple terms for you. These services have people that work for them 24-7 and they solve CAPTCHAs. What we SE Robot does is sends these CAPTCHAs to them and when they solve the CAPTCHA code, they send it back to SE Robot so you don't have to lift a finger and you won't even see this happening. It all happens behind the scenes and it happens quickly so that the submissions get done fast. Usually the price for about 5,000 CAPTCHAs is around $30 to $35 at BeatCAPTCHAs.com and BypassCAPTCHA.com. While Death by CAPTCHA offers 5,000 CAPTCHAs for only $6.95. I know this is a big difference and that's because the ones that cost more will solve your CAPTCHAs quicker and with more efficiency. But you might want to try Death by CAPTCHA as well because it works just fine. In one of my next training videos, I'll briefly review these CAPTCHA services so watch that vid video before you decide which CAPTCHA to use. So all you need to do is purchase credits and enter your username and password into SE Robots options and you won't have to worry about CAPTCHAs ever again. We also provide the option of checking your balance so that you know when you need to recharge your account without having to go to their site log in and then look for information about your account balance. Next we've got the proxy tab. So if you're worried about your IP address or want to protect your identity, using a proxy service is the best solution. What a proxy does is mask your own IP address and uses another IP address so that the sites you submit to don't see your real IP. So all you need to do is check Enable Proxy. Enter your username and password and then in the proxy list just write down the IP address and the port for your desired proxy. And over here you can also choose if you want to disable this proxy when you close the application. These proxies can be both free and paid. It's easy to find them just by doing a simple search on Google for free proxies or premium proxies. If you go to hidemyass.com slash proxy dash list, you'll find a huge list of free proxies that you can use and all you need to do is copy the address and port and then paste that into SE Robot and just make sure you add a colon between the IP number and port. If you want, you can add a couple of these proxies. So in case one fails, another one will be used. In this case, you won't need a username and a password, but if you get premium proxy, then you'll have to enter your username and password. If I scroll up a little bit, you'll notice that you can get a premium proxy list for just $24.95. Okay, so I hope you understand what proxies are and, and how they work, but 
you shouldn't be too worried about protecting your IP as SE Robot doesn't do anything illegal. So you're safe even if you're not using a proxy. Next, we've got the Spinner tab, which allows us to integrate SE Robot with a third-party software that can spin articles for us. Article spinning is a way for us to get multiple unique versions of one article so that we don't have to spend hundreds of dollars and long hours writing the content ourselves. So this works by rewriting existing articles and replacing words with other synonyms to provide a slightly different perspective on the topic which makes the articles unique and thus Google won't punish us for content duplication. Later, one you'll see exactly how this works. So, over here in the general settings, we're able to enter a list of words that these spinners will ignore. So, for example, if your main keyword is losing belly fat, then you need this keyword to appear as is in the article to be able to rank for it. However, the problem with spinners is that they would spin probably this keyword and it will sound something like dropping stomach fat, which won't help you rank for the keyword and you want to rank. But we came up with a way to stop spinners from spinning your main keyword. And all you need to do is enter that keyword here and you're guaranteed to have that keyword as is. So the spinner will simply ignore it. Next, we've got the article title. So when you enter a title, you might want to leave it as is, but you might also want to rewrite it as well. So if you want to rewrite it, just make sure auto spin article title as well is checked. Next, we've got three options for integration. The first thing that they all have in common is the username and password fields. Well, except SpinChimp, this requires an API key. If you're not sure which spinner to choose, please watch one of the next training videos in which I'll compare these three spinners so that you can make the best buying decision. Okay, so after you register on one of these sites, obviously need to enter your username and password or API and that will complete the integration. Next we've got synonyms quality with Spinner Chief and SpinChimp and what this means is that you can choose how good you want your spin article to be. So for example the word losing there would be quite a few synonyms so one synonym would be misplacing, while the other might be dropping. So if you were to use the keyword losing fat, obviously misplacing fat would make no sense, while dropping fat makes sense. So the synonym quality will make sure these mistakes don't happen, and it will make the software only choose those words that make sense. So you might think that you obviously need to set the synonyms quality at the highest level. However, this can represent a problem because sometimes the uniqueness of the article will be lowered because the amount of words that are available will be considerably less. This same option is called replacement quality with the best spinner. We've also got word amount, part of speech, and maximum synonyms per term. Even though these options are called different, they practically do the same thing. These options allow you to choose the amount of synonyms the spinner will use for one single word. Here, you can write the number of words with SpinChimp. You can choose full spin, full, loose, extremely loose, and none. And with the best spinner, you can choose from 1 to 12 synonyms per term. We've also included links to these spinners so that you can access their home pages and check them out easily. 
don't forget to check out the video in which I'll compare these three spinners so that you can make the best buying decision. Next, we've got the General tab, which is also our last stop for this video. This tab is very simple, and it doesn't have a lot of options. You can simply allow or disallow the submission of articles without links. So we created this to protect you from submitting articles without a link. If you were to prepare an article and then forget to include a link in it and click Submit, the software would go out and finish the submission in a few minutes, but without your link and you wouldn't even notice that your link wasn't submitted. So we added this to make sure that you don't forget to place your link in the article. I highly recommend leaving this checked as next we've got retire, retries failed submissions, which means exactly what it says. If your submission fails, SE Robot will retry to submit three times. I recommend leaving this as is as well because most likely if a submission goes wrong for three times there's something wrong with the site and trying again and again will waste your bandwidth and your time and there's no reason to do that. Next we've got the default CAPTCHA timeout which is set at 120 seconds so if the CAPTCHA isn't solved in two minutes SE Robot will request another CAPTCHA immediately. Another option that we just added is the Data Backup option. This allows you to create a backup of your SE Robot work just in case something goes wrong. You can set it to create one after a certain amount of time or you can back it up manually by clicking the Backup button and the restore button to return a previous version. So that wraps up the options of SE Robot and it's very important not to forget to click the save button once you've finished setting everything up. So I'll save here and we'll continue in the next video.